Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you see the little tron, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, do whatever you want. This is Mr. Tron here. So anyways, if you've been watching my videos, I started talking about NoFap. And what is NoFap once again? NoFap is no porn, no masturbation, no orgasm. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want to talk about today. So we're going to continue with the NoFap. So I want to talk about two things regarding NoFap. Okay, first of all. I want to talk about why you should be doing hard mode, not soft mode. Second of all, I want to talk about... Are you ready for this? If you go to the gym, your strength will go way up in the gym. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the strength in the gym. So... When I was on semen retention twice, well, let me go back. I have basically have known about NoFap since I was a little kid, but I never had a name for it. Because growing up, my mom, my dad, everybody would say, masturbation's bad for you. And then me, I would, every time I'd jerk my meat, I'd feel so awful about it. I would just, I would just feel awful. So... Then I try and this and that and I fail, blah, blah, blah. So, let's get into the gym, though. So, I kn I've noticed whenever I would do streaks of not releasing, okay? So, I would go to the gym. Whenever I hit my 455 deadlift, that was whenever I was on, like, day 40-something, of semen retention and it was incredible so then I did it again I hit I was like a day 30 okay and my I was hitting PRs right and left so I think a lot of it has to do with like when you're doing you're holding that semen in like it's it's incredible because like you you just have this extra like up about going to the gym and you just like tear it up at the gym man because like i don't know what it is but the semen is it's magical like it's really magical like people could sit there and make fun of me i know people are gonna make fun of me i know people are gonna criticize me oh it it helps me release dude if you hold your semen in that increases your testosterone so much man and plus, if you add zinc to that, oh my gosh, dude. It's amazing, dude. My, like, see, I have reasons behind why I'm doing NoFap. I love going to the gym, but also, like, I'm going to be doing a powerlifting meet. And I want my strength to be, woo, through the roof. Through the roof, man. And it's going to be incredible, dude. Like, it's going to be whoo, pretty intense. So, I recommend doing NoFap. And if you're doing no fap, get in the gym. You'll notice a huge difference in whatever you're doing at the gym. You'll notice a big difference. Second topic of the day is hard mode. Hard mode. So, okay, you guys. Let's talk about hard mode. There's soft mode and then there's hard mode. But I recommend hard mode, which is no masturbation, no porn, no orgasm, no sex, nothing. So, before we start, I want to say, if you're a man, okay, this is probably going to be the most difficult, most challenging thing that you could do. And I I'm being serious because I've failed multiple times when hard mode. It's... Probably the hardest thing you'll ever do. But it's worth it, man. Even if you fail, just get yourself right back up and go right back to it. 
because I'm telling you, man. Okay, so the reason I say hard mode is this because like. Most guys are trying to stop the porn addiction. They're trying to stop whatever, the, whatever they're trying to do. But the reason I recommend hard mode is this, because like, okay, let's say you hit that magical 90 days or you magically hit that 30 days. Most guys will sit there and say, I hit the 90 days. I uh did this, I did that. And the thing is, is like, that's all good. That's amazing. But the problem right there is this. Let's say you go back to masturbating, okay? So you go back and you start... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you start doing that, okay? And let me say something. Unless you have the most vivid imagination ever... You you're more, I guarantee you, if you start beating your meat, you're going to be so tempted to sit there and watch porn, to open up a magazine, do whatever on your phone, look at girls on your phone, whatever. You're going to be so tempted to go right back to where you began. That's number one. Second of all, okay, I don't even know if, like, this is another thing. It's the lust, too. So, whenever you're sitting there, let's say you, you could just lay in your bed and you could just, oh, oh, okay. Let's just say nothing. You could stare at the ceiling and just start beating your meat, okay? Well, the problem is with that, there's a reason why it, the problem is this right here. So, you're still lusting. You're, you're, you're still lusting like crazy. Because in your head, you're, you're, you're still thinking about banging all these women. And more than likely, it's not just one woman. It's multiple women. You're going to go to back to past experiences and be like, Oh, that girl's so hot. Try to use your imagination. Like, oh, oh. And then next thing you know, you're going to bust a nut. Like, and most times... Like, I guarantee you, after a while of sitting there trying to do that, it's, you might be able to continue that, and that, that that's great, but you're not going to be able to, for me, I know that after a while, I'm more likely to go back to what I was doing in the past, because I'm still chasing after something that I should be chasing after, so, I mean... Because a lot of these guys, like you, you hear the stories with these people on NoFap, the benefits of NoFap, and one of the NoFap thing is getting women to like you more and the attraction of women. Well, a lot of these guys are using NoFap as a way to change their addiction from one thing to the other. It's not really solving the problems. It, it's just taking your your addiction to porn, masturbation, and orgasm, okay? And, okay, well, I'm not going to be doing that, so now I'm going to go out and start chasing women. And you're just trying to get in girls' pants 24 hours a day. And that's what... It, it, it's not a good cycle to be in. If you're going to sit there and take no fap, okay, yeah, you may get the the benefits of having all that extra testosterone and all this stuff but it's not going to do you any good if you're out here trying to get in girls pants 24 hours a day also it's not going to do you any good it let's say you're doing no fap and let's say you have a girlfriend or you're married or whatever and you're oh yeah let, let's bang each other three times a day doing on this i'm not masturbating but I'm still having sex three or four times a day. Oh, that's, dude, you're 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 busting your nut. You're like, oh, and then you bust a nut in this woman, and, and dude, hold in your semen. Don't be doing that. If you're married, okay, that you can have sex, but whatever. But try to hold in the semen. You don't. I mean, if you're a guy and you cannot do a hard mode 
at least attempt to try to do hard mode, then I, I don't know what to tell you because most people, I mean, there's a reason why you continue to go chase women. There's a reason why you continue to go have sex all the time. And it, and if most guys, even if they're on soft mode, they're probably having sex four to five times a week. So, so yeah, you're not masturbating, but you're, you've replaced a prop masturbation with sex. So that's my opinion, you guys. I really recommend recommend doing hard mode just because it'll help you with your discipline. It'll help you in the gym. And try if you're doing this, try not to replace this habit with another terrible habit. Try to find something positive. So Mr. Tron says, have a good one. And I will talk to you later. And remember, you guys are pretty awesome.